Hi, this is Faviola Martinez, and the question is, how do you make a rectangle or a square that has rounded corners using the marrow stitch? So the first thing you have to know is the exact way that the marrow stitch is going to stitch so that you know where your starting point and your ending points are of each one of those motifs that had been created. So this is my solution. You can see that I've got here on my screen that I drew one vertical line and then one horizontal line um, to begin the process. And then what I did here, you can see everyone is in a different color, is that I actually use the marrow motif stamp. So if you've never used it before, all you do is select it and every motif that's in the libraries of motifs for the built-in designs as well as the ones that we create, we can also use as single stamps. And so you would just select it and say okay and you would just go ahead and copy, you know, make about, I would say to begin with, probably about five of these little stamps just to begin with. And if you've never actually played with stamps before, um, one of the things that you can do with them is you can manipulate them in all kinds of different ways. So what I've done is I'm going to grab one of my stamps. I know that the way that my motif that I created, this is my own uh, creation, not somebody else's, is that I know that it starts right here at this point and it comes around and then it does the, the little fan shape on it. So what I do with this is I would just grab it and I would move it over to my vertical line. I would click on it once again so I get the pivot point and drag the pivot to where the starting point is of my motif. And then while it's still selected like that, I can use one of the corner handles and I can rotate it around that pivot point. All right, so what you would do is you would just do this with each one of the motif stamps that you have you want to make sure that it's going to connect into the one that comes before it and you're going to want it to overlap toward the bottom so that you get a nicely rounded corner so that's what I do and typically I find that depending on the position of this vertical line and the horizontal one that you have created prior to this will depend on how many of these little motifs you need to create to round that corner out the next thing that you would do is make sure that everything is in the proper sequence so that, and again, once depending on the way that your own motif has been created and where your starting and ending points are at, that you wouldn't have any jumps happening. So you want them to overlap at the pivot point here. You want it to overlap a little bit over here so that it's connected. And each one of those you would manipulate in that same way and make sure that you sequence them properly over in your object sequence bar obviously as well change all the colors to the same color so you don't get any starts and stops and that's how you make a rounded corner okay hope this video helps thanks for watching bye for now